We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface. I have placed three clips that we will work on today to see how easily we can create the lighting effects that you saw in the beginning. On this video, we're going to use the FCPX Lighting Effects Suite from Pixel Film Studios. A huge shout out to Pixel Film Studios for supporting this channel and sponsoring this video. And you will see that it's uh, very easy. Right now, we're going to do some of the effects that you can achieve using the lighting effect suite but uh, we will see more and cover more of what we can have here so let's start with the first video as you can see we have only a light that is behind our subject just a light in a circle and we will go into the effects we will go down and drag the masking to vignette now here we have the option to first draw a mask on where we want the lumetric lighting to take place so we can start, for example, and mask the area where we want the light to take place. We can adjust here the area, as you can see. Wonderful. Okay. We can set the softness. Let's set it to 45. And then we will click to light OSC. You see that automatically it's starting the volumetric lighting effect. Now we can go down, we can change the ray length, let's set it to the maximum and also we have the option for the diffusion amount, so if we set the diffusion more it's going to be more diffused the light. Now if you want to have the length of the ray even more you can go here and you can enter the custom amount, for example you see 150 it makes the rays length longer let's set it to 50 to check it out and from here you can change the center of the rays so for example you can go here and change the y axis of uh, the center of the rays for example if i go and set it to around 0 0.3 you see that it's pointing down and if i go here 0 0.02 minus so I can bring it a little bit to the right. And as you can see, the first clip is ready. And check it out, how it was and how it is now. Now, as you can see, we can change the ray color, but we will see an example later on in this video. And we have plenty of other lighting effects that we will see later on again on this video. Now for the next example, what we're going to do is we're going to add some spotlight effect into our torch, okay? So we're going to go into the titles and as soon as you install the FCPX lighting effect suite, you're going to have all this option here. We're going to scroll down to spotlight. We will go in that for the type B and we will select the track source and point. So it will track the source of the torch light and also it will track the point. So I'm dragging this and I'm placing on top of the file that I want to track. Let me close this. So we have this open, let me close this as well. And first of all, we go to track editor and we're going to track the source. track quality to 100% and we move forward and then we click export data and then we go again to the track editor to track the track point. Let's have the track point a little bit bigger. This is going to be the track point, all of that. Track quality 100% and track it. Now we select this layer, we go back and we click on spotlight on and as you can see We have tracked the source and the point is not very responsive, okay? If that happens, and that happens because we don't have a lot of uh, contrast in our scene on the track point, how we're going to solve this? We can go in the beginning and we can see, for example, when we start, okay? On the offset point, I'm going to change that and bring it here and I'm going to add a keyframe and as I'm moving on the video you're going to see for example I'm 
press the space bar to start playing place it here to match where the light is going you see I'm moving on and I'm changing the track This is better to be precise, to be 100% realistic on your scenes. As you can see, it doesn't take too much time. And the final result, as you can see, it's following the video. On the right, as you can see, I can click on toggle OSC to be removed. I can control the right source. The light source, I can change the size of it, the intensity, for example, if I set it to 10, it's gonna have lower intensity and I can change the beam as well, right? So I can change the intensity of the beam to be a little bit lower or I can make the light source bigger. I can change the opacity and also I can have a light flicker effect so if I set it to 20% the flicker check out the result you see it's starting flickering so you can be as much creative as you want and now for the final example I'm gonna go again I'm gonna track this I'm gonna drag it and place it now I'm not gonna use any draw mask I'm just gonna go to the light and you see immediately I have the lights I can go to the light controls I can set the ray length to let's say 60 and the diffusion I can set it to let's say 50 so I can have more of a diffusion look and one thing that we didn't change in the beginning we can go to color we can select for example blue for the color and we can set the color amount to let's say 20 or even 50 and 10% overdrive and as you can see immediately it starts doing its thing easy as that of course on this plugin you can see that we have the option to have illumination so you can play with illumination on your footages as you can see here or you see the illumination here or you can have uh, bokeh or glides let's see the glides what they're gonna do for example you see that it's gliding as you can see here and there are tones of different effects for lighting as I told you this is a lighting suite for anything you might need it has glides it has illumination it has bokeh it has the volumetric lighting and also if you go into the titles side of things, you get to use logo, light animation, you get uh, light beams, light flickers, as we saw on the spotlight, on the torch light. You have lens flares, you have glares, everything lighting related. 